Canon's autofocus is one of the best in the game. Can't beat it until now, because DJI have released this. It uses completely different technology to standard autofocus systems, but does it work? I've compared Canon autofocus to the LiDAR to see if it's good enough and to find out whether or not this could be the future of autofocus, because I can see this technology making its way into every camera soon. So which do you think is gonna be the best? Let me know in the comments. I don't know, I don't know how much I trust LiDAR, because I know the iPhone uses LiDAR, and it's not that great, so I don't expect anything too crazy. I don't think it's gonna beat Canon's, but you never know, I might be surprised. LiDAR module turns your manual focus lenses into autofocus by pairing it with the follow focus motor. So now you can use all your favorite cinema lenses or vintage lenses that are manual, and you don't have to have somebody to pull focus for you. It's really easy to set up. All you have to do is mount the LiDAR to the top of your camera, pop the focus motor on, then hook it up to your gimbal and calibrate the lenses. You can store up to three different lens profiles, so that makes it nice and easy to switch between three of your favorite lenses. There's three modes, wide mode, spot mode, and active track. Wide mode detects faces and tracks the one closest to the center of the frame. So during this test, our subject was walking backwards and the Canon was just a little bit smoother in keeping the focus towards the end. But then when she started walking forwards, they were both exactly the same. It was nice and smooth and it tracked the face perfectly. And I think that's more of a distance thing because the LiDAR has a tracking range of 14 meters apparently. So I found that when the subject wasn't too far away, it tracked absolutely perfectly. Then in this shot here, when she spun round, the LiDAR actually tracked the back of her head all the way up until she spun round again, kept focus on her face, so it worked really well and the Canon actually dropped out from time to time just because it was trying to lock onto a face that wasn't there. What I really like about it though is you can switch between subjects just by using the dial on the front and it goes from point to point really smoothly and quickly. So if you want to switch the focus between two people, you can do that really easily just by moving that dial and you don't have to get it precise, you just move it from left to right depending on where your person is. That's the thing though, isn't it? Like because autofocus has been so good, a lot of people rely on it. I know I did for a long time. Oh yeah. I might have been a bit lazy. The thought of manual focus now is just no, I don't even don't even want to think about it. But at the same time, does this make sense then? Because taking manual lenses and making them autofocus lenses, so why not just buy autofocus lenses? <coughs> I'm glad you asked that. First of all, if you use your standard electronic lenses with autofocus, although you might have some really nice lenses, you're missing out on the quality of cinema lenses. For example, I'm using this Sure, I think it's Sure, I say Sirui, that doesn't sound right. 50 mil anamorphic lens. Obviously that doesn't have autofocus, but now with the LiDAR, it's got autofocus and it just looks amazing. And then secondly, most people that use cinema lenses are used to manual focusing, but if you work alone as a solo shooter, having the LiDAR and autofocus frees you up to focus on the framing of your shot and the camera movement, and then you don't have to worry about the focus. And it's particularly helpful when the subject is moving or walking towards the camera. You don't have to do anything, let the LiDAR do its thing, and you just focus on the framing. So this is perfect for people who either use manual lenses or a cinema camera that doesn't have autofocus built in. You can easily switch between autofocus and manual focus just by pressing the AF MF button on the unit so you're not tied into autofocus all the time, you still have full control when you need it. Then within spot mode, you can choose a section of the frame that you want to focus on just by tapping the screen or drawing a little box. When it's in spot mode and I was doing an orbit, it kept the focus point perfectly so no problems there whatsoever, it performed just as well as the Canon. Active track is awesome, it's a great feature. For example, if you're doing a tracking shot or a follow shot, rather than walking backwards and trying to get your framing right, you can actually walk forwards with the camera pointing backwards. I was just walking and it kept the subject in the frame perfectly and wherever I moved it would track nicely. And that's ideal because then I don't even have to worry about the framing, I can just worry about the movement. But what I have noticed is before you start the active track, make sure that your subject is perfectly framed where you want them to be before you start recording or before you press the trigger, otherwise your subject is is gonna be framed slightly wrong. But it did a really good job of tracking and keeping up. Within low light situations, the LiDAR really comes into its own. It does a lot better at tracking subjects in the dark. As you can see, the Canon sort of pulses in and out a bit trying to keep that focus and it lost it from time to time, whereas the LiDAR kept up with it the whole time and it even switched between two people again seamlessly 
It's absolute pleasure. It's just one extra thing that I don't have to worry about, especially in the dark. We're in the early days of this technology at the moment, so I can definitely see it taking over soon. A few improvements I would like to see. For example, if you put something in front of the LiDAR system, it's going to focus on that. If it's beyond the focus throw of your lens, it kind of whips around to the end of your focus throw. It'd be nice if it came to a smoother stop. I think it'd be good if you could select objects and track any objects rather than just faces or people. Now currently you need to pair the LiDAR with the gimbal for it to work because you need to calibrate the lenses with the gimbal. Once you've done that you can actually take the unit off and use it on its own without the gimbal. But DJI have told me that they're soon to release a handle grip that will power the unit and enable you to use it without the gimbal and I'm super excited about it because I don't always want to use my gimbal to film with. Sometimes I want to go handheld so to be able to use the LiDAR just with the camera is going to be groundbreaking and I can't wait. That went loud, didn't it? And then one more thing, the monitoring that the Ronin 4D has with the LiDAR manual focus is just the best thing I've ever seen. And I think when that starts coming into cameras, along with the LiDAR, game over. It's gonna be so much better for anybody who wants to manual focus or monitoring your autofocus because the display on the gimbal actually shows you how far away your subject is. And I love that. I love knowing things like that. It's good for marking your positions and all sorts. Now if you want to know more about this anamorphic lens, there'll be a video coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, if you want to pick up an affordable lens, I highly recommend these ones. So go and check out this video here, and I will see you in the next one.